This is lesson 12, subtract fractions greater than or equal to 1. As we look at these two problems, we notice they're the same, except for the 1 half and the 1 fifth are switched around. Let's look at them on a number line. Using the number line, we can see that if we start at 1 and a half and take away 1 fifth, 1 fifth is a smaller fraction than 1 half, our answer is still greater than 1. We'll get a mixed number 1 and something. If we start at 1 and 1 fifth and take away 1 half, 1 half is a greater number than 1 fifth, our answer will be less than 1. It will be a fraction that's less than 1. We're going to look at three ways to solve 1 and 1 fifth take away 1 half. The first method we're going to look at is with the rectangular fraction model. We have our two rectangles. They were initially divided into fifths vertically, and one and one more fifth are selected. Since we're subtracting one half, we divided both of our fraction models into halves so that we now have tenths. We subtract one half, leaving us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. So with our fraction model, we see that our answer is seven tenths. The next two methods are done numerically without the fraction boxes. First, if we start with 1 and take away 1 half, we separated the 1 and 1 fifth. Start with 1 and take away 1 half, what we have left is 1 half. We've already done the subtraction, so we have 1 half plus the 1 fifth that we started with, getting a common unit, common denominator. Multiply 1 half times 5 fifths, multiply 1 fifth times 2 halves to get 5 tenths plus 2 tenths equals 7 tenths. The other method we're showing is to change our mixed number into an improper fraction. 1 and 1 fifth is 5 fifths plus 1 more fifth or 6 fifths. We have minus 1 half, get the common unit again of 10. Multiply by 2 halves, multiply by 5 fifths, 12 tenths, take away 5 tenths, is 7 tenths. We're also going to look at three ways to solve. 1 and 3 fourths take away 6 sevenths. To begin with, we had our two rectangles for a rectangular fraction model, both divided into fourths, selected 1 and 3 more fourths. Since we're subtracting sevenths, they are divided horizontally into sevenths. We had one and three fourths, we're taking away six sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six sevenths are being taken away. Our new unit is 20 eighths. What we have left are, we have four 20 eighths right here. And on the other side, we have 21 sevenths in this rectangle, so 21 plus 4 more would give us 25 28 25 28 Not 21 sevenths, but 21 28 on this side. 21 plus 4 more is 25 28 A second way to solve 1 and 3 fourths take away 6 sevenths. First, let's look at our number line. We can separate our 1 and our 3 fourths. Do 1 take away 6 sevenths. Start at 1, take away the 6 sevenths. Add back in our 3 fourths. We start with 1 and 3 fourths. So 1 take away 6 sevenths, add 3 fourths. When we do that with numbers, We'll end up with 1 seventh plus 3 fourths, get that common unit, common denominator of 28, multiply 1 seventh times 4 over 4, 3 fourths times 7 over 7, we get 4 28 plus 21 28, and again we have 25 28. A second way of solving 1 and 3 fourths, take away 6 sevenths, is to start at 1 and 3 fourths and take away all of our six sevenths. We can rename one and three fourths as an improper fraction. One is four fourths plus three more fourths is seven fourths. 
we're taking away 6 sevenths. Our common unit is 28. We multiply 7 fourths times 7 over 7. Multiply 6 sevenths times 4 over 4. We get 49 twenty-eighths. Take away 24 twenty-eighths. Our answer again, 25 twenty-eighths. Now we're going to look at three different ways to solve 3 and 1 fourth. Take away 2 and 1 half. Starting with the number line, we can separate our 3 and our 1 fourth. Start at 3, take away 2 and 1 half. 3, take away 2 and 1 half, would give us 1 half. Add back in the rest of the first number we were starting with, so 1 half plus 1 fourth. Our, num our answer will lie just before 1, a little bit between 1 half and 1. When we do that numerically, again, 3, take away 2 and a half is 1 half. 1 half plus 1 fourth. On this one, if we take our 1 half, and we multiply it by 2 over 2, another name for 1, we get 2 fourths. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Our other method for solving it, start at 3 and 1 fourth and take away 2, take away the whole number. 3 and 1 fourth, take away 2 is 1 and 1 fourth. And then we're going to take away one half. Three and one fourth take away two is one and one fourth. So now we have one and one fourth take away one half. One and one fourth is the same as five fourths. Four fourths plus one more fourth, five fourths. Five fourths take away two fourths is three fourths. In this last problem, two methods for doing four and a half minus three and two thirds. First method, separate our 4 and 1 half, begin at 4, take away 3 and 2 thirds. If we start at 4 and take away 3 and 2 thirds, we're at 1 third. Add back in the 1 half, so we've got 4, take away 3 and 2 thirds, 1 third plus 1 half. Our common unit, common denominator is 6. One third times two halves is two six. One half times three thirds is three six. Two six plus three six is five six. In our other method, we start at four and a half. And we take away the whole number, we take away three. If we start at four and a half and take away three, we're at one and one half. Then we still have to take away two thirds. So one and one half take away two-thirds. We rename our one and one-half as our improper fraction three halves. Two halves plus one-half, three halves. Three halves take away two-thirds. Our common unit is six. Three halves multiplied by three over three is nine-six. Two-thirds multiplied by two over two is four-six. Nine-six take away four-six is five-six.